Someone is definitely daydreaming about your energy. This is someone who feels they don't have access. There could be silence and distance. This is someone who gets a, gets somewhat of a emotional rush when thinking about you. But they are also blinded by your light or the light that should be guiding them. Someone is definitely thinking about you in a very prideful way. But I also feel they're trying to find some type of understanding as well. This is someone who is fearing a higher power, but they're also closed-minded when it comes to their beliefs or their mentality. But I also feel this is someone who is coming out as someone who is unconventional about their way of thinking. This is someone who is questioning everything. Questioning everything that is attached to their ego. This is someone who feels like they came so close yet so far when it comes to something they feel they had to let go or let be when it comes to you. I feel this is someone who sees you as a close bond, a twin flame, something that was unconditional. They regret letting you go. Someone regrets playing a game of catch me. Someone regrets playing games of the heart. Someone regrets putting you in a position to make a decision. Make a decision that wasn't easy, but someone didn't make it easy to love them. This is someone who was on the run or someone who was just consistent in disappearing, avoiding confrontation. This is someone who is hiding a lot of things or needing to do a lot of shadow work. There is this dense baggage when it comes to this energy hollow or shallow victories where there is untold information yet I sense something is unraveling when it comes to something that is unfolding when it comes to affairs of the heart material things and things they have to sacrifice I feel there is a lot of things that are hidden when it comes to their careless actions things they took a risk on as this is someone who is flaky when it comes to responsibilities or behaviors that I feel they're in a space where they're swimming in memories and nostalgic emotions where they're wanting to send you a message in a bottle, communication, because they're silently missing you. I feel like this is someone who is trying to compose their thoughts. They're arriving to a space where they feel like they understand how they lost you, but this is someone who still doesn't understand how they got lost. They're remembering the moments. They're starting to be grateful for what they had finally, but not after a really big tower moment or someone feeling like they have lost you for good. This is someone who wants to circle back. They want to come back around. This is someone who wants to return, but they're also dealing with some heavy regret. This is someone who is replaying thoughts or events over and over in their mind, thinking about how they could have done something differently or done something better. They think about returning to you all the time. Wondering if you feel the same about them. Do you think about them as much as they think about you? Yet I feel someone's heavy regret when it comes to falling victim to their temptations or mistakes have definitely led them into some harsh lessons. I feel this is someone who thought there was other fish in the sea, yet all they can think about is returning home. This is someone who has scattered attention, a wandering eye. Now they're wanting to invest in stability and foundation. Now feeling like they need to accept the journey. Someone feels like they need to accept something. Accept their life. Accept these lessons, mistakes, and consequences. And they're wanting to take a step forward. But this is someone who is just not knowing how. Let's get some more energy here. I feel like there's layers to this situation where someone is daydreaming about you wanting to send some type of message or communicate, but this heavy regret definitely gets the best of them. Yeah, someone's going to return home because they know nothing compares. 
as they're still mesmerized by your energy, something definitely runs deep. I feel this is someone who was very reckless with your energy, but they do see you as unconditional love. And for some of you, you definitely gave them the energy for the very first time of how to truly love. Someone, this energy just wasn't ready for it. But now that they know nothing else compares, someone is thinking about luring you back in or someone is thinking about the road to home. This is someone who is struggling to master self. They feel like they lost themselves in a situation or they could be sinking in a space where they feel they have already lost position. Mm. Someone feels they have already lost the yin to their yang and they're trying to accept the journey of some very uncomfortable karma. This is someone who has a very guilty conscience. They feel like there's bad blood between the two of you. They cause too much pain to just come back around. They feel like something just went too deep, something just went too far and they're in over their head. This is someone who is feeling like they're drowning in unstable feelings, knowing they shouldn't have taken this solo path or chosen solitude or karmic energies over you. They're dealing with unfamiliar feelings. <sighs> they're dealing with a lot of things they didn't foresee. They took a, a roll of the dice. Now they're weighing the pros and the cons, leaving something to fate, but they're also silently contemplating. Contemplating on seeking answers or an unexpected contact or meeting with you. This is someone who wants to meet up with you, but they also feel like something is getting in the way. This could be karmic interferences, foes, third party energies here. Whatever it is, it's definitely no good for them. This could be enemies in disguise, but whatever it is, I just feel like it's just not what it seems to be. Someone is silently contemplating because of what they didn't foresee in these third parties, false environments, and karmic interferences. Something that was supposed to be temporary became long-term when it comes to dark energies, tactics. Someone regrets leaving something to the imagination and became an enigma. Now they're hyper-focused on their finances, thinking that it's going to get your attention. Someone is wanting to do some type of spell work. Someone is wanting to cut the corners just to come back or have what they want from you. But I feel time just keeps slipping away. This is endless waiting where there is a long separation. I feel time just kept slipping away when it comes to someone who thought that they had everything under control. Someone thought that they had everything under control, but now they feel it's now or never. Someone feels like they don't have no more time to waste. There's a desperate sense of self where they feel they're going to have to go to some very desperate measures to reconnect with you. Someone knows that you're ride or die. They're thinking about the moments where it was just you and them against the world or you supporting them in every way. They want to make a tempting offer, but they also feel empty from the void. They're trying to cope with things in a very toxic way. For many of you, this is someone who is drowning in their pain because they have failed to heal something. But I also feel there's there are parties or false environments that are causing them to break the code. But I also feel those very things are about to make them break their silence. Someone's learned the hard way that you were nothing to play with. They should have taken you seriously. Because now that they want to come back around, they don't feel like you're going to welcome them with open arms. Let's get a final card here from this thing. Hmm. So it seems like someone regrets leaving something to mystery. They regret the silence, keeping you at bay or keeping you out of a situation that you should have been fully aware of. 
that you now know about. For some of you, you're not very clear on a situation, but I feel you know enough to find closure or, or peace within a situation or know that you don't want to be caught up in their karma. Let's get a little bit more energy here. I feel like many of you, you would like to talk about this energy, but just not in the energy of someone who is unhealed and talking in circles. I feel for many of you, you wish this energy would just step up or speak up in an adult fashion. Someone's just too old to be moving in the way that they move. But I feel someone's heavy regret is about to push them to a breaking point. Let's get some energy here, Holy Spirit. I mean, you all feel like this is someone who is starting to feel like you're someone they used to know. As it feels to them, your energy is still with them, but also out of reach. Something's just been pushed too far. They feel like something is just too far gone. They're starting to regret the chances they took and the chances they didn't take because they refused to see how bad something was until the connection you once had was already on life support or completely gone. And now your silence has made them uncomfortable. As it's also made them a true believer that when you give nothing, you get nothing. some energy. I feel like there's third parties here that get in the way here. I feel that someone who wants to contact you in various ways, but I feel the things that get in the way is their conscience and some very difficult obstacles. This is someone who admires you and thinks about you often, but they're also dealing with some weaknesses and temptations. This is someone who thinks about reaching out and texting all the time. In fact, I feel this is someone who has created some messages that have never been sent, or this is someone who is just in a space where they're trying not to think about you at all, but it's just not working. I feel this is someone who is trying to keep busy. There's a lot of activity, but they're also trying to accept this journey through trying to give in to some things that keep them reckless. Someone's reckless because they're trying their best not to think about you. They're trying to stay busy, but the things they come up with are some of the things that keep them weak and lost. I feel this is someone who knows that you have good intentions, a good heart when it comes to them. For many of you, you are definitely an angel in their life. Something very positive, something that was supposed to lead them in a positive direction, but someone feels now you're just cold. Someone feels like you have a cold heart or the way you think or speak of them is not the same, when in fact I feel you're just cautious, afraid of someone mishandling you or not protecting you in the way they should. Many of you are now protecting your own heart. Someone knows that you had good intentions, and this is the very reason they want to circle back to you and reach out. But they also feel the fact that you are cautious or different. They are in a space where they're unsure. They're unsure, not wanting to be rejected. Someone is at a standstill, trying to make it make sense. Someone is trying to come up with a way to approach you. Someone feels like you're acting cold because they created an unhealthy relationship, a double standard when it comes to love. Someone feels like you won't reach out or you won't reach back. They feel like you won't help them because you're uncertain. I feel you're uncertain because someone failed to apologize or someone just stopped reaching out to you. I feel someone feels like you just gave up, but someone left you out and you just gave them what they thought they wanted. Now, someone's upset, feeling left out, but I feel someone's also realizing they juggled their options or what they thought were options, but I feel it was all a test, a test of faith, loyalty, respect. Instead, someone put on a show and they never spoke up. 
someone created a narrative where there was nothing to see. There was nothing to talk about. They were acting very secretive. I feel this energy was acting secretive because they know they screwed something up. And this is why there was a parting of ways. I feel there's a parting of ways because there was a double standard when it comes to making mistakes and the level of loyalty that was supposed to be here to maintain this connection. But the fact that someone thought that you were going to make the first move, someone didn't, didn't make an effort. Someone thought that you were going to make a move because they know that you have a loyal heart. But now that something is different or someone is getting a taste of their own medicine, they're very affected. This is someone who's affected and thinking about you wanting to start something over, make up. Because they're in, sitting in a space of deep regret. Someone is sitting in a space of regret because they shut you out. Someone closed the door on this connection. Causing a lot of tension behind the scenes. But someone didn't see something coming when it comes to you standing up for self. This is another reason why they're hesitant on reaching out to you. But I feel in so many ways it's just not their guilty conscience. In so many ways I feel these third parties, false environments, temptations, weaknesses, things they use to cope with the differences of life, that's also holding them back. Let's get some energy here, Holy Spirit. Little messages here. Messages here. Someone knows they fucked up in a big way, falling for some type of thirst trap or creating some type of te toxic cycle with you. Someone knows they created an unhealthy bond. Now they're sitting in a space they were where they're regretting all of their actions. Wow, I can barely even speak here. This is someone who feels like they don't know the words. Hmm. Someone feels like they don't know the words to make up or make the difference or get you to put your guard down. Hmm. So much so that they're trying to push their emotions away. Hmm. Playing it cool. Someone knows that they really screwed something up by not being cautious to a third party, falling into a thirst trap and creating a toxic bond. Someone feels like they're too bound, tied. Someone feels like they're in too deep when it comes to a third party or false environment. They're trying to get their shit together. They're trying to get a grip on life and play it cool, but something is just not adding up. Someone is wanting to reach out and text you. They know that you will give the advice that is needed, the love that is needed, the energy that is needed. Yet they're just coming to a space where there's just regret. They know they went too far. There's a lot of emotion. Someone's definitely crying in dark spaces. I think this is someone who is refusing to show emotion to others, but they're spending a lot of time with others. The things just keep going round and round because someone is failing to heal the pain. They're avoiding you. And for some of you, you feel like it's all a game to them. You feel like it's all a game to them, yet I feel they're just too prideful. Someone is too prideful to truly admit they miss you. I feel this is someone who wants to achieve some type of balance when it comes to the light and the dark. But they're still sitting in a space where they're still putting on a show, a facade, thinking that they have already lost you. Someone feels like they have already lost you because they have lost themselves by wearing a mask or deceiving you. Someone feels lost and they're waiting for the right time to make something right or make something work. But they feel like hiding the truth has caused you to be too cautious. Hmm. Now they feel like you're avoiding them. But I feel the truth about it is the fact that this is someone who has gone round and round in a situation that they're creating their own cycles of heartache and misery. And for many of you, you know something isn't right. Because you can see they're still in dis destructive mode. The fact that they can't come your way and give you an honest apology knowing that they hurt you, you know that they're still destroying things in their path. 
And this time, you just know you won't be one of them. This is someone who wants a helping hand from you. They're just not knowing if you're going to receive because of the double standard they had in love. For many of you, you have evidence when it comes to their sneaky behaviors or the fact that they are a false prophet. But something that should have been long-term became short-term because someone was not prepared for what you were trying to offer. They just avoided you. And in avoiding you, they avoided some true blessings that were attached to you. But as I said before, you have made someone a true believer in the fact that when nothing is given, nothing is gained. Let's get the final card here from this deck here, Holy Spirit. Where, where does the final message come from this thing? Okay, so we have a couple cards. So, someone is definitely regretting the fact that they fell into a sense of temptation and they were gaslighting you thinking they were stepping into something better something bigger and someone is regretting every one of their choices now they're questioning everything trying to accept a journey that they know they won't be able to accept because they know they are settling settling for something that is less but they know that they don't have the same resources or help that they used to have so they're trying to play it cool they're trying not to spook or um, cause any attention to their actions and this is why they're playing it cool even though they know they screwed all of this up someone knows they screwed up royally taking you for granted and only seeing things their way as I sense for many of you, this energy moves out of emotion and impulse and to either get a reaction or prove to themselves they can have what they want or gain special attention. They jumped into something. They jumped into something that wasn't meant for them just to get a reaction from you. You know, someone needs to heal some inner wounds. There's healing that needs to take place with this energy, but they're still being very playful when they should be cautious. This is Stargazer energy where someone is needing to be guided. Hmm. But I feel in so many ways they're still affected, inflexible, and needing protection from a guided light. Hmm. I feel this is someone who is trying to heal some inner wounds that they didn't realize was there. For many of you, you didn't understand something about them, but you still found a way to love them despite their flaws. But I feel this is someone who had a very biased opinion about what they chose to accept about you. I feel this is someone who was aloof about something, always trying to suppress number pain no matter how they chose to do it someone was always trying to cope with their suppressed emotions in a very unhealthy way they were choosing some unhealthy ways to get over the pain with you mm, because there was no progress there is a cold winter i feel this is someone who's aloof when it comes to a karmic energy this is someone who's at a distance and they're wanting to be closer to you but they're trying to be unbothered they're trying to pretend like they're not affected but i feel in time they're going to reroute themselves in time someone's gonna try to find their way back to you this is someone who's just gonna pop up or they're just going to send a message this may be a conversation and whether this takes place in person or not, someone is wanting to reach out in a big way. However, I do feel they're dealing with some challenges that keep them in conflict, keep them cuffed or bound to a very sticky situation. A sticky situation they feel 
they can't get rid of. It's difficult to release. It's holding on by any means, whether they're holding on to it or their this situation is holding on to them. Something is stagnant when it comes to a pirate energy. They could be dealing with someone who is reckless, hmm. materialistic, careless, very selfish, and pointing fingers. This could be their energy of someone surrounding them, but there's a lack of a, accountability for someone who is always blaming others. Someone is always blaming others because they are not rooted in their values. They are not grounded in their stability. This energy is completely struggling and needing a helping hand. I feel in so many ways you have helped this energy and they're wanting to reach out to you. And this is why they're daydreaming, stargazing about you. Mm. Contemplating about an encounter, a meeting. Mm. This is someone who is silently contemplating but also feeling like they broke your heart they shattered it into pieces and now they're feeling like you have a heart of stone either that they or they feel like something is set in stone when it comes to your energy your emotions how you used to love them the connection you once had and they're wanting to take a leap of faith Someone is wanting to trust the universe when it comes to you, and for some of you, this is how time passed. Someone thought that they were going to be able to get away with something easily, but there's just silence due to the fact that something is hidden, because now nothing is moving because of someone's cloudy judgment or the fact that they couldn't be mature or find wisdom within their mistakes. I feel they disappeared. They cut something off and they did it suddenly. And now this energy is wanting to reunite or reconcile all of a sudden due to some unexpected events. This energy is just wanting to reach out. But the fact that the attention they see only cause something to backfire, they're thinking about you more often than they usually do. Someone regrets pointing fingers and wasting time. This is someone who regrets wasting time not communicating or sending a message. And for some of you, you sent a message. They just never sent one back. They were too busy numbing the pain. going through spells of instant gratification just so they don't have to deal with the hell they created. But now that they see they can't escape the flames, they're wanting to undo the fire, the flames. Someone wants to undo something that just cannot be undone. I feel this is someone who has some playful energy when it comes to wanting to heal something with you. And that's only because they have yet to heal some inner wounds. Whether this is from the past or childhood energy, someone needs to find the confidence to be bold, assertive when it comes to you. I feel like it's just time for someone to show up for you instead of you showing up for them. This is someone who needs to prove to you that they are willing to make sacrifices when it comes to the relationship. This is someone who needs to prove to you that they are willing to come your way regardless of what they feel to heal this. I feel this is someone who wants your help. They want your love. They want what they once had with you. But I feel they are thinking about this risk in a very deep way, but also thinking about how they disappeared or didn't communicate. Someone is thinking about how something ended. Mm. And now they're deeply affected by your silence or the fact that there's no contact. I feel like this is someone who really cares about you. There's a sense of compassion and warmth when it comes to the memories, the thoughts of you. They do see you as a divine energy, but something is blue about something. I feel this is someone who cares and they long for you. They miss you. Mm. They see you as a counterpart. Something that is faded. This is someone who thinks about you so often it's ridiculous they feel like what they had with you was meant to be but they regret in so many ways they just didn't see it in the moment hmm. wow
Someone failed to be cautious. This energy failed to be cautious, which makes them very dangerous. This is someone who was in a space where they didn't take care of this connection. They were failed to be aware. They failed to be vigilant of those who were jealous of the connection or didn't have their best interest at heart. Hmm. I feel this is someone who thought you were just complaining when you are just trying to help and love them in a way that many were not ready to do. I feel you were loving them in a way where you were telling them the truth, even when it hurts. And that's the part they couldn't deal with. I feel like you couldn't sugarcoat something or let them have their way, so they lashed out. And this is what made it hard for you to love, understand, and sometimes even believe in them. Because they were always wearing a mask. Wow. So, as I said before, you guys, this is someone who either got a reaction or did some things to get a reaction to prove to themselves they are special and can get attention they did some things that they now regret often believing what others tell them i feel you found it hard to get through to them as they have yet to believe accept or understand anything you have shown yourself to be because they were too busy believing what they told themselves you are Yet the fact that you're no longer sharing, talking, or complaining, they fear you've found a way to forget about them or just move on. Hmm. This is someone who feels like you just got over them. And they're wanting to be bold. This energy is wanting to be confident, but they're also feeling like it's just going to be a little dangerous to come your way, but they're also feeling a little desperate to do so. Someone feels like what you had together is not something they can duplicate or replace. This is why they're often in a space of thinking about you, but I also feel the more lessons they learn, the more they think about you as well, because trust me, they are living living a hard life and learning from it but they also know the wounds they created may get them rejected something is too fragmented broken and damaged mm -hmm. they cause a lot of grief sadness now they're feeling alone thinking they won't be able to heal something through manifestation someone feels like they just don't know how to do the spiritual work I feel this is someone who failed to stand up for this connection and now they're disconnected. They feel like you're on the defense, you're protected, advocating, well, advocating for self. This is someone who feels like you just don't see them the same, you won't love them the same because of the memories. Now they're unhappy in a space of despair. This is someone who's sitting in a space of gloom and doom because now they feel something is set in stone. Someone feels like the love that you once had would always be there. I feel this is someone who's very careless with the energy that was given because of it. They thought something was absolute, but something is changing when it comes to an agreement, a bond. Hmm. Because someone chose to explore something accelerated. Hmm. Now they're wanting to make an offer to the potter. Someone feels like you are the potter and they are the clay. Wanting to be molded in a situation with you. Someone is tired of numbing the pain in a very sticky situation that they now feel bound to. As I said before, this is someone who will reroute something because they are struggling. It's been a really hard summer. They wanted their freedom. They wanted to be liberated, but they didn't think that wearing a mask and 
hiding and concealing things with the harmful within this commitment, but they also know that the fact that they were not loyal or responsible with family or connection, something was too big of a risk. And it all went up in flames when it comes to someone who always seems to burn something down because they don't have the same loyalty or respect that you do. Now you have made them a true believer as your silence and distance has put them in a position where they're regretting the games they played and the problems they started with you because now that they feel like reaching out to you, they feel like you just won't reach back. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.